on the point of social media for other people is if you record your process, people don't actually, people are buying from you, they're not just buying from your company, you are the face of your company, whether you're the front of house or the owner. And it's one of those things where people like to know the story, they like to know the grit, they like the documentation of where you are and where you're going. So doing things like this, recording long form, you can get a lot of content through social media through that process. So well side note. So Solomon Tilson, be down at 82 Stafford Street, nerd dessert bar, gift, game shop, we we bring in a lot of unique collectibles and such, so if you've got something that's difficult to buy for, you know, we might have something for that. So, oh, yeah, no, it's having to explain to uh, everyone at the groups at the shop that free use of the shop isn't free if they don't buy anything. We provide the space free of charge, but they need to buy their, you know, drinks and snacks and stuff like that, yeah, but, yeah, so I'm throw that in there, but, Alright, so 32 years old, I live in Timaro, I've got five kids, uh, I've got an 11-year-old boy, a uh, 9-year-old girl, 7-year-old boy, 4-year-old boy who's starting school in like two weeks, so that's terrifying. And my youngest son lives in Auckland, he's in New Zealand's highest level care facility for under eight in New Zealand. Um, he has a quite severe diagnosis. Close 24 7 active care, otherwise, uh, you know, yeah, things go downhill fast. So, he lives up there. <laughs> so, I was born in uh, Waiheba, Plenty up north, uh, raised in the Paddy Paddy. Uh, moved down with the family when I was seven years old. We moved out to Burke's Pass of all places. There's the, the main social highlight was talking to sheep as there were no people around. <laughs> lived in Burke's Pass until I was uh, about 15 when we moved into Timaru. Um, to get ongoing medical support for my dad who the day before my 13th birthday had three grade 5 brain images and he was in coma for three months and you know I've got I'm one of five kids myself I'm the middle child of five kids so my mum trying to look after the us uh, yeah Timuru was where we came to gone to Timuru joined the air cadets uh, did that for a few years got my first job doing fish and chips, fell in love with business, fell in love with customer service, making food, which we might be able to tell. So I've done, I've done a lot actually, and so I've worked factory for, I've worked with canes, I've worked down the port, I did eight years doing uh, nurseryman work, so um, botany and um, port culture and stuff like that, and I've done high-end sales through that, so I've done sales around the country, Ranging products from you know, your two thousand dollar products to your fifty thousand dollar products sales. So I mean, uh, the, the amount of people involved in health. I, I did a study for five years when I was younger in natural health. So yeah, worked with over you know three hundred people over a five year period. I've done a lot of social media marketing. Um, done a bit. Wrote my first novel when I was sixteen. The whole married and surviving of the divorce thing. That was interesting. I started several groups, I've run, written a couple of books. The hustle is real, we have gone through that. Rags to riches, kind of go through, I've, I've been homeless twice. So it's one of those things where I've actually gone from earning really good money to also being, you know, living in my car for an extended period of time. I've gone through that whole journey. I've got a Facebook page that's speaking on social media. I've got you know, 37,000 followers on a Facebook page and I've got nearly 40,000 followers on TikTok. So social media is something I like to be reasonably okay at. So if anybody's out to call me help try and talk to you about social media, I'm more than happy to chat. Not necessarily the answer or anything, but some good concepts and basics to go forward on. My why? Uh, the reason I started the shop that I did originally a few years back is when I moved into Timur when I was 15, moving into any town when you're 15 is a rough gig, especially when you come from a somewhat socially recluse family such as myself. Being a bit of a hard uh, nosed snob and he was a bit outspoken, that was rough. And the reason I started what I started down there is because I wanted to create what I needed when I was 15. Now that I'm older and you can actually provide that, that's kind of my basis for why I got into doing what I'm doing. Is provide a space for people that don't quite fit in. People that aren't necessarily to the place of play, outdoors, sports, hikes, all that. Just 
something you heard more low key, yeah, you can come along and do it separately. And, you know, we, we did that, we started, you know, TV, PlayStation, PS2, a couple of uh, fizzy drinks, fridge to actually having a full arcade game shop, full take out menu. We did that in under three years. Then uh, COVID happened. Where we are now, the shop is way too small for everything that we're doing. I started it a year ago uh, last month. Uh, obviously going through COVID, uh, I was a solo, solo dad for two years with all five kids. Also full-time caring for my youngest from when he was five months all the way through until just recently. Going through the mental health process and journey of recovery from that, he, he did nearly die on there, but he nearly died five times in a 12 month period. I'm trying to look after four other under 12 year olds doing that. That was rough. When we started getting a bit more support, I started the business a year ago. It's kind of my, I get to pretend to be normal. Like somebody else is looking after the youngest, the others are still, I get to pretend like I'm a functioning member of society and like a you know, hot mess that I was. He, I'd say, he now lives up in Auckland. And, uh, I think six months ago, he went up there. And, and you know, I've come a long way. I've gone through that process. I've gone through that journey. And since we've put the commercial picture and we trying to get our turnover in, this, in about four weeks. So it's not bad. And this is kind of where I'm going with this concept. Because what I'm wanting to do down there, what I'm currently doing is not where I'm at. It's not where I'm going. I don't want to just keep it that. One of the things that I see a lot is how many people are on their, you know, their games or their phones trying to escape what's going on in their life into a fantasy. And for the first time in you know, human history, we actually have the technology and the resources available to start turning the fantasy into reality. The technology coming through is absolutely phenomenal. And I think Tamaru in particular is in a really good position to do that. We're right halfway between Christchurch and Dunedin. People, when people think Tamaru, that's a small pig town, blank and you miss it. You know, there's 28,000 potential customers here. And you know, the whole of South Canterbury, I think there's, what, nearly 60,000 people here. It's not a lot, small town, whatever. We're halfway between nearly a million people in Tamaru. If, there's, if something's happening in Christchurch and you live in Dunedin, you're not going to go, and vice versa. But you will go to Timaru. And we've got, you know, we've got, I, I think Timaru will be the key deep, deep water port for the South Island in the next 50 years. We're, we're centrally located, and of course we've got, you know, Caroline Bay out there. Caroline Bay, if that was in any other city in the world, they'd be going off every weekend. And I think this is where Timaru could go if it wanted to. So this this is kind of my kind of my concept of where I want to take this. So yeah, I think Timaru's got the best potential of any town I've lived in. I've trekked around the country a few times, and these are key areas that I think Timaru could excel at if Timaru wanted to. And we've got we've got the means, we've got the know-how, we've got the centrality. I think Timaru's got a lot going for it. And yeah, so we're not we're not just dessert, we've got a couple of other ideas going forward and yeah, I'd love to talk to anyone about this. Who does it uh, come self on the domination, right? <laughs> You said it, not me. <laughs>